My name is Stephen Goldfarb, and I'm a physicist, a research physicist, working for the University of Michigan here at CERN on the ATLAS experiment. The CERN is the European Organization for Particle Physics, located just on the French-Swiss border outside of Geneva. I'm a physicist on the ATLAS experiment. That's one of four large experiments located on the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN. The, the Higgs has been there since the beginning of time, uh, but we haven't yet had a device that could see it. This device will either see it or it will rule it out. Either one would be fantastic. Uh, if we find it, we know we're on the right path. This whole model is, is confirmed and we know what to do next. We know we have to measure that thing and, and that we will, by measuring that, we will be able to know where the next new physics is. There's still a lot of questions. As I mentioned, we have, to, we have to answer a lot of questions to answer. Measuring the Higgs will help provide some answers. My degree is in mathematics, but by the end of my undergraduate studies, I got my heart set on physics. Uh, I took a couple of classes and I saw this is really exciting stuff. I learned about these strange worlds of quantum mechanics and relativity. And I think what drew me to the field was the fact that, not just that there's a lot of interesting information out there, but these people in physics were learning how to think differently. Mickelson and Morley were sure they were gonna find a good measurement and see which direction the ether was in based on our, our, our planet traveling around the sun. We they would see an acceleration or a deceleration at, 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 the different, at different times of the year. They found nothing. It was marked in our, as a chapter in our physics books as an extremely important finding. They found nothing. Because, because of that, Einstein came up with special relativity to answer that question. So if we don't find it, somebody else who's brilliant is going to come along and say, OK, there's no Higgs. Let me tell you how particles get mass and they'll do something new. So either way, this is a win-win situation building the, the LHC and, and experiments like that.